Hello traders, FS Pocoetta here. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie dollar, I still think this is an ABC of wave Y that's forming, part of this WXY pattern, which is basically three waves up, three waves down, and three waves up. All part of a crescent to the downtrend, I believe. So once the wave Y is over, it probably will end up continuing back down. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I'm still looking at this as a wave one of wave C. I still think this push down could be a wave two of wave C. And I still think there's a pretty good chance eventually it's going to go up and make a wave three of C, a wave four of C, and a wave five of wave C. Just like this wave A was a five-way pattern to the upside, the wave C should also be a five-way pattern to the upside. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I think this first little push down right here is the A. I think this was the corrective wave B. This is probably a wave C. We definitely do have a break of structure, so I would for sure be looking for longs right now. I think we probably are due for a pullback, especially because of that structure break. But I would for sure be looking to try to get along at the end of that pullback for the continuation of this uptrend. Hopefully this right here really is a wave one. We really do have the end of a wave two, and now we're going up for a wave three. Like I said, most likely a wave three of wave C. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, like I said, I'm definitely looking for longs, but I would only go long on pullbacks. I need to see 1, 2, 3 ways down. I need to see impulsive up, just like this here, 1, 2, 3 ways down. Even this right here, 1, 2, 3 ways down, impulsive up for the continuation of this uptrend. So like I said, I'm definitely looking for longs, but I'm for sure only going to go long at the end of ABC pullbacks. So taking it down to the one hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement on the last push up. I would think that this push down is a wave A. I bet this move up is a wave B. I would think that this needs to go down more, maybe all the way down to the 61 or the 78% to make a wave C. I would think that at the end of this ABC correction, we'd get a nice Fibonacci bounce, a nice impulsive move to the outside, probably a nice break of Strutzer. If we see all those things, then that is definitely what I'm going to be looking for, for an entry to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.